How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how can you remember the orientations of the facets for the three different regions of the spine. And so we've got three regions, the cervical, the thoracic, and then the lumbar spine. And within each of these regions, the facets are going to be making different orientations. You got to remember what these are. And this is a high yield topic. So basically, if we were to take, for instance, C2 and C3, I'm going to call this C2, I'm going to call this C3. With C2, it's going to have these things called inferior articular processes. And these inferior articular processes on C2 are going to mate with the superior articular processes of C3, the vertebra just below. And so when they mate, they're going to form this thing called a facet. And so um, these facets are how your vertebra slide past each other and it dictates the plane of motion that they can make. So if we were looking at the superior articular processes of C3, because it's in that cervical part of your head, how do you remember which way they're supposed to go? And so the way that I remember this is called bum, bull, bum. So um, basically what that means is in your cervical part, your superior facets, the one on C3 in this instance, when we're comparing C2, uh, C2 and C3, is those superior articular processes are going to be pointing backwards, upwards a little bit, and then medially. So they're gonna be tilting slightly in towards your midline. And then when you move down into your thoracic region, so now if we made this T1 and this T2, and we looked at the orientation of the superior articular processes of T2, what we find is that in the thoracic region, these superior processes are going to have facets that point backwards, upwards, but now laterally. So they're pointing towards the outsides of the body. And then finally, when you move into that lumbar region, the low back region, when you compare L1 to L2, for instance, now what we're gonna see is that very similarly to C or, or C section, the cervical region, um, we're going to get things that point backwards, upwards, and medially. Although sometimes you will see people say that it's just backwards and medially and you do this with your hands to kind of just remember it. So there's no, sometimes people say there's no upward component at all to the facets in your lumbar spine, so that they're, they're just going like this. Um, and so those are the key things to remember. I hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time.